my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 633 in this lecture i will continue my discussion on code example for cats versus dogs i request you to go through my previous lecture that is lecture number 632 before understanding this lecture what i have done i used vgg16 i removed the top layers i removed the top layers for each point image xi for each point image xi i generated xi dash xi is input image i am generating xi dash on top of it i build a very simple multi layer perceptron yes two layers multi layer in the sense simple mlp means two layer multi layer two two layers mlp because i have dense layer just see i have dense layer uh, um, again i have one uh, uh, just see model dot add dense again i have model dot add dense isn't it literally i have one hidden layer isn't it i have Uh, one hidden layer with uh, relu activation if you just observe this one i have only one hidden layer with uh, relu activation that's what it says model dot add dense activation equal to relu then i have uh, sigmoid which is my output isn't it uh, this the, this multi layer perceptron this is uh, basically one hidden layer multi layer perceptron very very simple model and all the code is readily available you can see the code uh, here you can have one, you have one hidden layer yes all this code this just see all the code is readily available for you uh, just see the code here and when you train this model just see all the code is readily available when you train the model if you observe it train this model on this data set here what is the data set we already discussed dogs and ca cats related data set isn't it uh, when you train this model on this data set here is expl explanation of the code when they trained when they trained it they got accuracy of what is the accuracy that accuracy is 0.9 to 0.91 means accuracy of 90 to 91% look at this uh, this is a uh, fun part here let me go let me go back uh, let me let me go back and write it down um, so when you train a small connet on your own you got an accuracy of 80% just try to recall you get you got an accuracy of 80% so when you did vgg16 when you use bottleneck features they are they are getting when you use vgg16 if you use bottleneck features you are getting 90% of accuracy and this can done uh, this can this can be done very very fast what is the reason this can be done very very fast because i am not training anything i am just reusing what already exists this takes some time first one whereas when you um, the case one with case one takes a little bit time isn't it why because you have trained the model that this is much um, this this one is much faster which one vgg16 uh, if you observe fine tune uh, what is in your case 2 is your case 2 is much much faster that's why it's 90% accuracy because i'm in case 2 i am not training any convolutional neural networks i am training a simple multi layer perceptron and still i am getting a, a much better accuracy so this case one just if you observe case one what's how, how much how much accuracy are you getting you are getting 80% accuracy what about my case three this is also interesting what if i want to fine tune top layers of my, my pre trained network that is fine tune the top layers of my my pre trained network there is a very nice code snippet again here if you just click here just if you 
just see this one the fine tuning the top layers of pre-trained network just you can find the full code for this experiment here if you just click here you will get a nice code snippet this code is also very very interesting so here when you load the model itself you are saying load the model vgg16 yes just see the model just just you can observe model equal to load the model vgg16 and don't include top just say don't include uh, include in, include underscore include underscore uh, top just don't include top here keep everything else and when i am defining my top model just see what it says don't include this top keep everything else that's what it says include underscore top equal to false is isn't it i am defining my top model here what's happening i am defining my top model uh, see this model vgg16 is this i have taken the top part of vgg16 so what am i left with let's assume just say this that's what it says uh, the, this part will not be there i am left with uh, the above part just you can understand you can understand this it is so simple include underscore top equal to false means this um, the, the, the this the uh, what what is the meaning of uh, in, include underscore top equal to false just observe this one if i write this one include underscore top underscore this part will not be there you will left with only this this part only that's what uh, uh, that that is more uh, that's a more important point here i left i left with uh, let's assume this is my vgg uh, uh, let's let me let me assume this is my uh, vgg16 model i can uh, i'm saying that include underscore include underscore topic called false which means what does it mean which means this part will not be there which part uh, this part this part this particular part will not be there isn't it in this case i want to take you to keep all of these weights are constants which weights are constants all of these weights keep weights are this portion just i'm i'm just what am i doing here just i'm copying this part which one just i'm removing this i'm removing this particular part i'm i'm removing this part and just i'm keeping this portion this portion here isn't it that's what it says in this case i want to keep all these weights keep all these weights or it's a constant so i will only take output from this uh, uh, and build uh, wh what am i doing i am taking output from, from this, this. I am building a model. Just say I will only take output from this and build uh, uh, and build a model. Maybe couple of layers. Yes. How many layers? Maybe couple of layers. Yes. So what can I? What what am I doing here? Just flattening. Just see top underscore model dot add flatten. Isn't it? What what am I doing? Just flatten the output that you get from model. So my input image goes here. There is flat on the output that you, you, my input image goes here and I just get the output so, uh, output here. What is my output input is XI. My output is I can say XI dash. I am I am defining my top model on top of it. Isn't it this uh, top model on, uh, on top of uh, it and I am I am not doing any optimization here which means it is kept uh, it, it is kept constant isn't it i'm using this just i'm using uh, this as a uh, i'm using this this is a func i'm using uh, i'm i'm keeping uh, 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 which means it is kept constant i'm i'm using this just as a function i'm i'm saying just what is this this is a i can say this is a function or otherwise i can say this is something like uh, uh, use this this particular part as block box this is just this part i am using as a block box i am using this as a uh, as a function isn't it that's what it says whatever in whatever input you get take the whatever you input you get xi take the output take the output xi dash and build the, and build a model that's important and build a model on top of it and uh, fine tune and fine tune that the, in the, in this model in 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 this model it says you can have convolution in this particular model in this particular model you can have here you can have convolution layers here you, you can have convolution layers uh, you can have just uh, 
you can have just the top most layer in 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 this example in they just have relu fun relu activation functions isn't it relu activation unit and sigmoid unit isn't it they have relu activation you just see they have sigmoid sigmoid units so this is other example of how you can just modify the latter layers without touching the previous layer so so when you when you do that again you get you get you get partly good accuracy you almost get you almost get accuracy like 94 percent accuracy here 94 percent accuracy here so this is vgg 16 this is vgg 16 plus training uh, i can say this case 3 is vgg 16 plus uh, training your top players you are getting 94 uh, percent accuracy this is this is case 3 because you kept most of the models are constant all the early layers are kept all the early layers uh, all the early layers are kept constant here in case 3 case 3 is very very fast so these are very very simple strategies and what we can do obviously what we can do uh, 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 obviously there are most more, more steps that we can achieve and you can go above 90 0.95 or 95% accuracy in 50 epochs by doing some of these you can do more aggressive data augmentation you can add more aggressive dropouts to avoid overfitting you can add more uh, more uh, more regularizations like l1 and l2 you can add more convolution convolution blocks in the, just if you observe, if you if you make that's what it says here here are a few approaches you can try to get above point, uh, point 0.95 percent accuracy i request all of you to go through this particular tutorial i can say it uh, actual uh, I, I can say this is this blog is very very important blog i really i really like this blog and i wanted to speak spend some time on this blog because this blog gives you very very nice details on how to do on uh, on how to do tra actual transfer learning in keras with all with all the cases look at this it's it's given you all the three cases when you are uh, training convert from scratch all these cases I, anyway i discussed all these uh, three cases i think i need not repeat it uh, again and again it is one of the best tutorial that i have seen for uh, transfer learning in keras i request all of you to go through this lecture if you have any difficulty just please keep a comment thank you very much